what is up guys welcome back to a brand new alan owns video this is crazy today i'm going to be doing a q a slash ask me anything so i tweeted out on twitter saying i'm doing another q a video it's gonna be my second q a i want your guys's questions and you guys hit me some really good questions so i'm excited to dive right into them before we get started uh, if you guys don't know my name is alan owns i make a lot of fun relatable gaming content so if you guys just happen to be this is the first time you're on the channel i would greatly appreciate it if you guys could uh smack the like button subscribe if you haven't and if you're already subscribed and you don't have notifications on i would greatly appreciate it if you guys ring that bell so i'm gonna get right into these questions first up we're gonna go with dire trizzy asking when did you start playing video games and why did you want to pursue gaming so I started playing video games as a child. A lot of my mom's friends uh, played video games. My dad played video games and they really got me into video games. I remember the first time I ever like played a game I played. I want to say it was like Doom 98 on the computer. I was what four years old at the time and I saw my mom's friend playing it and it looked really cool. You know, stuff was exploding. You had monsters like little gremlins and I thought it was really cool. And he let me play it, but my mom's like, no, it's too violent of a game. It's too violent of a game. And my mom had ended up getting me a Nintendo 64. And from there, I just, I love video games. Video games just like, is like an escape. And uh, second part of that was, why did you want to pursue gaming? I just, growing up, I knew the impact that gaming had on me. And I know that impact happens to everybody. So I just want to be a part of that impact for people knowing hey i can impact people through video games in a positive way because of how it impacted me just band-aid goes when did you start to take streaming seriously so i had tried like streams just for fun would it like a couple of my friends we would have uh, some ufc fights and uh you know one friend would be like you never beat me don't lie so i said okay i'll record it uh, i'll live stream it so some of our other friends can watch and a lot of the time we would be on FaceTime or be on a call and like, I'd be like, oh, I'm doing this to him. I'm doing this to him. And they'd be watching it live. And then I had the recording to show, hey, I beat this person, you know, easily or it was a good fight or stuff like that. So that happened. But right around, I want to say it was August of 2018 when I had just switched to Mixer uh, when Mr. Dino told me, hey, you know, you play on console because I was on console at the time. You should try out this platform. It's very console friendly, um, especially since I played on Xbox and it was Microsoft's platform. You should try it out. And I would say right around it was August 2nd, which is the day I'm recording today. The two years from today was the first day I really took streaming seriously. So Xenix says, what motivates you? I think what really motivates me is the fact that I see the potential of what gaming can do for people. I've seen the impact that it can have on other people's lives. My biggest goal, and I always tell people this, like my biggest goal when it comes to streaming is I really want to impact people, give people an opportunity to see that it doesn't matter how young or old you are. It doesn't matter how good or bad you are at a game. If you have a passion for gaming, you'll be able to make it. And, you know, I just, I want to, I want to get married. I want to have kids. I want to financially secure myself, my parents, and knowing that that's available in my biggest passion, which is gaming, is really what motivates me every single day. So WG Mojo, aka Harry, says, "What's your advice on converting your TikTok viewers to other platforms?" This is actually really hard and something that I put a lot of thought into, especially with I think it was two days ago where they said they were thinking about banning TikTok. I would say the biggest thing is, is showing off the type of content you put on other platforms. It's just like why you, uh, the same way you get people to watch your streams, right? If I, I, what I started doing is I started showing people clips of my stream and the type of content they would expect on stream. Cause it's very different than what you expect on TikTok. You know, I'm gaming for several hours. Um, we have different types of conversations. It's a completely different type of content. So you take snippets of what you would post on the other platforms and post it on your TikTok. So if you do YouTube videos, take a piece of that YouTube video, put it on your TikTok and say, hey, you want to watch the whole thing? Watch it on youtube.com slash Alan Owens. Boom. That is realistically your best way. Um, you know, you can incentivize them by 
doing a give back giveaway and showing them that you have other social medias since a lot of time people don't even know i always see in my comments hey wait you stream on twitch and i'm like really so that's my biggest advice for that so keanu toop asks what made you want to join lg that's a really good question and a lot of people always ask me you know how could lg be your, your dream organization and stuff like that when i first really got into streaming uh I was actually watching Ninja on a regular basis. I was a big fan of Ninja. Um, and I remember I would always see the uh, LG loyal uh, little, like the Luminosity little banner that he had in the bottom left. He would wear his Luminosity jersey. He would talk how he loved being in Luminosity, how he loved playing Halo uh, for them and all that. And I was just like, man, this is so cool to like be a part of such a big organization. I always thought like, if the best, if the person that I thought was the best of the best is in this organization, it's gotta be the best. And then, uh, you know, my three of my favorite streamers of all time were are Ninja, CDN, and Cipher. And all three of them went through Luminosity Gaming at one point or another. And that was when I completely knew, like, this is the organization I wanna be. I wanna leave a long lasting legacy. And this is the organization I can do it in. Turt goes, who are your best friends that you play with the most? I mean, I play with you guys on a regular basis. Uh, you know, I play with you guys more than anyone when I do, you know, sub Saturday. I do customs with Dire Sly. If you guys haven't checked out Sly on TikTok, he's killing it. Uh, I play with Bobby when I can. I play with Birdo. Um, but you guys know, I'm usually, if I'm not gaming with my community, I'm, I'm a lone gamer. I, I love I love doing solo squads. I love doing, you know, solo duos. I love doing LTMs. Uh, I will fill so I can meet new people. I'm not really one of those people who like has to be in a group. I definitely enjoy being in a group when it comes to a game like Call of Duty or Valorant where you need a teamwork. But I don't really, you guys know, you guys been in my stream. You guys know how it works. Froggy goes, if Fortnite shut down for one week, what game will you play? COD, Roblox, or Minecraft? More than likely, I'd probably play Warzone. Uh, I, I'm a big fan of Warzone. I enjoy Warzone. You guys know the only reason I quit Warzone was the hackers. And the one day where I wanted to get back into Warzone, we literally died by a hacker and spectated him. So I would probably play Warzone or maybe I'll try out like some different games. I do like Roblox a lot. I think Roblox is a very underrated, uh, I consider it a platform because it's a platform for different types of games, but I'd probably play A or B. Ice Mobile says, how do you deal with hate? And this is a question I feel like I answer a lot on stream but i definitely am happy that he asked that so i can answer here the biggest thing you guys need to understand when it comes to dealing with hate is most of the time the people that are hating on you are dealing with something on the inside you know either they're miserable on the inside someone's messing with them they're getting hate and the way that they release that and bad energy they have is by letting it out on somebody else and all you got to do is you got to you got to be empathetic you got to feel some sympathy for those people just let them get it out ignore it let it move on and just just don't let it bother you you know someone's like you're bad at the game if you know you're good at the game that's all that matters you gotta have self-belief if you know you're bad at the game you know you're bad at the game somebody comes to my stream and says oh you're bad while i'm playing creative with my viewers trying to get better i say yeah i know i'm bad i'm trying to get better that's why i'm playing this that's why i'm not playing in the world cup qualifiers trying to make the world cup knowing i'm not going to make it i play to try to get better okay sanka goes Favorite childhood game slash games. This is good. Um, I loved growing up. I loved Halo. Halo 3 was my favorite. After that, I hated Halo. I thought every Halo after 3 was just not good. Halo 2 on the original Xbox was amazing. That's where I made a lot of my friends. Um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, so Call of Duty 4, and Black Ops 1 were my two favorite Call of Duties. I love those games. I played every NBA Got my I got my uh, my player to 99 and most of those uh, I love the UFC games but I'd say my most favorite 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 growing up was probably either Super Mario 64 or Super Mario Sunshine Super Mario Sunshine is one of the most underrated games of all time Iggy says who are your biggest inspirations I'd say my parents uh, my parents were immigrants they came here as teenagers and they, you know, worked their butts off to get us from living in the city to living in the suburbs to I got to do whatever I wanted growing up. If I wanted to play baseball, I wanted to play basketball, any anything I wanted to do, they always made sure that I was able to do it. 
And that's kind of why I've been able to pursue my dreams where I had a, my parent, I told my parents, I don't want to work at a big corporation anymore. I want to start my own business. They said, do it. You can do it. They believed in me for that. I, I started my own business. Once I started streaming and I fell in love with it, I told my parents, I want to sell my business and pursue streaming full time. They said, do it. And th those people are inspirational to me. It's just having that type of trust and understanding in people is it's different. So I definitely say my parents. Galore says, what was your first reaction to joining Luminosity or however you spell it? Um, I'm going to be honest. So uh, my agent, Carter Pulse, calls me and we were talking to a few organizations and I said, Luminosity is my number one. Please make it happen. Like, I love Luminosity. I'm going to be honest here. I did not think that we would get Luminosity right away. I thought I'd have to join another organization, spend a year there, grow even more, and then finally be noticed by them. But Dan calls me up and goes, hey, we got you what you wanted. And I was like, no, right? And I was like, no way. This, this, there's no way this is real. And I was like, LG. And they were like, yeah, we got you what you wanted. I had my phone in my hand and I'm telling you, I sprinted out of my house and I'm like, no way, literally barefoot, barefoot. I actually got a splinter because of it outside and I just went nuts. It, it, it didn't feel, it didn't feel real until I had the contract in my hand and signed it. It did not feel real. So split asked a couple questions. What are the most important stream upgrades on a limited budget? That's the first question. I answered that easy. Uh, I would say if you're comfortable streaming with a webcam, uh, I say number one is webcam. Number two is microphone. Uh, number three is your headset. Uh, if you're a competitive gamer, I would say headset, then microphone, then cam. Uh, cause a lot of people, you don't need a camera in particular to, if you're a competitive gamer and you definitely need the best sound. If you're just streaming for fun, you enjoy making cool content, you know, having an okay headset is enough. I would say webcam so people can see, uh, what your reactions are. People can get your emotional attachment to certain things. A lot of people don't understand how important a webcam is that and when I get in a fight and I know I destroyed somebody the face i make the, the emotion that i show is it's impossible to be it's impossible to express without a webcam if you had to start over which streaming platform would you choose if i had to start over and i had nothing at all no social media no nothing i'd probably say youtube i think you have the best discoverability as just a solely a streamer on there uh, if I already, ha if I have a social media following that I know would follow me to any platform, I'd go to Twitch just because it's the best monetization currently. What are some of the pros slash cons for each major platform? Twitch, the major pros are the culture of streaming that everybody knows this is the number one streaming platform in the world. Number two, the fact that there's so many different monetization options, you got to you got a sub, you got tier one, two, three, you got bits, you got ad revenue, uh, you got bounties through uh, Amazon uh, affiliate marketplace. They do, uh, you can get free bits by watching ads. Uh, you got gifted subs that you can gift up to hundreds of subs. There's just so many different ways that you can make money on there. The biggest con on there is the platform is very top heavy. I would, I think the breakdown was 80% of the viewers are owned by the biggest streamers on the platform. And there's not really much discoverability. If you don't have a lot of viewers, you're almost impossible to be found in the directory. And so the third question that split asks is partnerships, what they look for when applying slash what are the target numbers? I think for each, each company you want to work with, it's all different. The biggest thing is shoot your shot. I think a lot of people are scared to shoot their shot when it comes to talking to companies. If you love Steel Series, reach out to them. Tell them, hey, I love your products. Uh, my community loves your products. I would love an opportunity to work with you guys or can you guys keep an eye on me? And if you guys think my content is good enough for you or getting good enough for you, that we can work something out. Once you do that, you'll realize there's a lot more companies that are willing to work with you. You just gotta shoot your shot.
Adam James Yule says, what is your favorite app? Uh, I love TikTok. I think it's without a doubt that everyone knows I love TikTok. The freedom of expression in short form content is, is amazing. The fact that like you can tell a story anywhere from 10 seconds to a full minute and people will understand the stories and they'll be discovered on there. The relationships you build on there, the fact that it's built to know what you like is amazing. And the apps changed my life. It's changed my gaming career. I will always be grateful for it. I, I, I love that app. All right, with that said, guys, listen, I want to thank all you guys for watching the Q&A. Thank you so much for everyone that asked questions. I do want to do another Q&A. If you guys have any specific questions you want me to answer, I'll pull some for the next video from here. So down there in the comments, let me know what you guys are thinking. And, and make sure you guys hit the like, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you guys ring that bell so you guys can see all the future uploads. All right, guys. I love y'all. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Thank you.